Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a classy lady. But as a teenager or growing up, I didn't have the resources to buy class in the form of expensive things or luxury goods. Today, I'm 29 years old and I think in the last 10 to 15 years, I've done a pretty good job of nailing it down. Today, it is a skill that I can turn on and off. And by that I mean, some days I can present myself as being extremely highly polished or then other days I can have a more chilled, laid back, relaxed type of look but still present myself in a way that is very sophisticated. So if you want to transform yourself completely or you just want to add a wee bit of sophistication to what you already have, keep on watching. I think having a classy look is definitely in the way that you present yourself physically, but it's definitely also got to do with the way you carry yourself. It is knowing from the inside that you have manners, confidence, and that your presence matters. So you don't have to prove your worth by showing off and be dripping with labels. It is a comfortableness that just shines through and doesn't try too hard. Having clean hair, make sure that your routine allows you to wash as often as you need to and at least have a style that you've practiced for third day hair. In other words, having unwashed hair on the third day, make sure you've got a, a style that you've practiced for that. If you are rocking a shorter haircut, make sure that you book those trims um, as often as you need and by the time you leave the barber or the salon, you have the next booking made already. If you decide to color your hair, make sure you are able to keep it up because nothing looks as bad as grown out roots. Keep brand names and loud labels to a minimum. Showing too many labels all at once can seem like you are trying too hard. I also recommend skipping buying fake bags or fake accessories of any nature and rather sticking to a plain, simple, well-designed item in a plain color or that's just of high quality. Ditch the fake labels. Kept nails. They don't have to be painted or have gelish or anything on them, but just keeping them short, clean and moisturized is as much as you need. Having short nails without any paint on them is much classier than having long fake acrylic nails in loud bold colors or even worse having it all semi grown out. Don't do that and rather stick to a short clean unpainted nail. Neat and clean. Think tucked in shirt, clean shoes and maybe a wee bit of polish. Manners and class go hand in hand. Being on time is so extremely important and shows that you have respect for the person that you are meeting. Being on time, having the correct attitude and considering others when spending time with them is key. Eat with your mouth closed and say please and thank you. No loud flashy things are necessary such as neon or out there designs. Keep things simple with colors and silhouettes. This is also great advice for building a versatile capsule wardrobe that's really going to serve you for a long time. Make sure your clothes fit you well and if you have special pieces that you've bought at a very high price point or very low, have them tailored. It looks so good when something fits you well. You don't have to tailor every single piece you own but those key pieces maybe take them in and have them tailored to you. And when buying new clothes make sure you buy the right size. If you're wearing something that needs ironing that's not been ironed, it's going to reflect poorly. I'd avoid overspraying yourself with drugstore deodorant and rather opt in for a nice shower and use unscented deodorant and brush your teeth. And that is it. These are all of the things you need in order to present yourself in a classy manner that does not need a lot of monetary resources. Did I miss anything or would you like to add to this list? please let me know in the comments down below. Take care, until next time, cheers.